Here's a little guide on how to improve FPS in Deep Rock Galactic. After last update, there's been some changes. Obviously, set all your graphics settings to low and turn anti-aliasing off. You can also try to turn off other things like mouse smoothing or disable master EQ. It will not give you much, but it would not hurt to try. The less things you run, more FPS you get. And be advised that in-game texture resolution setting doesn't work at all. Now you need to edit game's config file. To find it, you must open the game folder. In Steam, right-click on the game, select Properties, Local Files and Browse. Then go to FSD Saved Config Windows No Editor and open Engine INI. In the file, before everything, add line System Settings inside square brackets. Now you can type in commands after it. I will advise you to check the game after every setting you change and pay attention to visual quality in the mission, not the space rig. Add line R bloom quality equals zero to turn bloom off. Add R fade duration scale equals 0 0.125. You can set value from 1 to 0. The lower you set the value, the lower decal's lifetime will be. If you set it to 1, nothing will be changed. If you set it to 0, lifetime will be infinite. If you set draw distance to low in the game, you can add R view distance scale equals 0.4. You can set value from 1 to 0. The lower you set the value, the smaller draw distance will be. In big rooms you will notice it, but in small rooms you won't even see. Command doesn't do anything when value is set to 1, and at 0 it breaks the gameplay. Add R fog equals zero to turn fog off. Visually, it removes the smooth fog effect from distant spaces, but it also makes the game too dark. Lighting up! By default, it should be turned off if you set post-processing quality lower than high. If you want to be sure, Add R Lens Flare Quality equals 0 to turn it off. I don't really recommend this unless you desperately want FPS boost, because this changes the gameplay as much as visual quality. Add Foliage Load Distance Scale equals minus 1. This will set all models to minimal quality. It will also completely remove some of them, like grass, small stones and even chunks of minerals that are hidden under terrain. Add line FX max CPU particles per meter equals 6. The lower you set the number, the less particles will be present on the screen. At zero, this will completely remove them. Some particles will not be affected by last command. You will need to type in FX enable Niagara Sprite rendering equals zero. This will completely turn off other particles, like particles for sludge pump puddles. I especially recommend to use it. I had FPS drops from 320 to 70, and this command fixed them. Type in R streaming useful texture bias equals zero. This command will fix the in-game texture resolution setting. You can actually change it now.
these commands will not work at the current version of the game, but you can still use them in older versions and they might also be reintroduced later. You can use FX enable Niagara mesh rendering equals zero. This will completely remove certain models, like sludge bomb puddles. Add R mipmap load bias equals 4. The higher you set the number, the lower texture resolution will be. It will also affect icons on your HUD. Command doesn't do anything when value is set to 0. If you used last command and want your UI to not lose quality, add R force highest mipmap on UI textures equals 1. 